Hey, what is up guys? Cliff here again from The Selling Family. And in today's video, I got an awesome find from Big Lots where we profited over $890. And I'm gonna share that with you guys today. We got a lot of information to cover, some good learning tips for you newer people. And we're gonna get into some numbers and show you guys a breakdown of how we made this money. Let's get to it. All right guys. Before we get into the product, I want to thank you guys for all the people who have subscribed and been liking and commenting on the videos. Last week we hit over 4,000 subscribers, so it's been an exciting time and just awesome to see the feedback that you guys are giving and the people liking and enjoying the video. So if you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe down below and ring the bell for, so that way you get all the notifications of new videos and items like today where it could be a potential bolo for you to make some money. And I also wanted to share with you guys, uh, because a lot of sellers, it's it's the end of the school year, kids are getting out of school, summer vacation's coming up, and a lot of sellers get in a summertime rut where they're not sure what to sell, and there's a time coming up, because it's end of school season, which means back to school is gonna be coming up pretty soon. And if you've never uh, sold during back to school season, it's an awesome time to profit, and so if you are interested in that, we have an amazing course that we've been teaching Amazon sellers for years and years on how to navigate this time of the year and how to notice trends for back to school and make some profit during that time. So if you're interested in that, I have a coupon code for all of our YouTube viewers out there. If you go to thesellingfamily.com and go to the back to school profits guide and you type upon checkout, type in the code BTS20 and you'll receive 20% off of that price. That's just for our YouTube viewers. Nobody else on our emailing list or any other social media platforms is getting that code just for you guys. So uh, that's all I got to say about that. If you're interested in that, go check it out. And then now, let's get to this product that we found at Big Lots a couple months back and that we've been selling over the last few months. I'm real excited to share it with you guys. All right, everyone, this is the product that we are looking at today. It's been a good product for us. It's the Scrubbing Bubbles 12 Count Fresh Brush Flushable Pad Refill. That's a lot to say, man. Uh, okay, so story is we were scanning at Big, Big Lots and we come across this product. It's ranked 18,515 currently in health and household. So it's uh, a product that not a lot of people are gated in. So I, I would guess maybe a lot of you newer sellers might be able to sell this. I don't know, everyone has different restrictions. Go check it out for yourself. Uh, so we found this product for $3 a box, okay? Very light, very easy to ship, okay? We're sticking a label on the end of it and sending it in a box. And we got, $17.49 a piece for these things, okay? So with a $3 and we added tax, a little bit for shipping, $3.30 uh, by cost, sold at $17.49, we were profiting about $8.36 a box. And let me tell you something, these things sold pretty much as soon as we got them there and as soon as we caught the buy box, okay? So we were making uh, an ROI percentage of 253%, fantastic return, okay? But I have something I wanna show you guys and something that uh, a lot of people just don't know how to navigate and it gives people a lot of trouble, okay? I wanna show you guys to keep a chart real quick to show you what we came up against against low ball sellers. All right, so here's the Keepa chart and I want you guys to see something and maybe some of you know about using Keepa and maybe some of you don't, but I wanna show you guys what happened to us on this product. So we found this thing in about mid-January, okay? We sent, uh, uh, we sent a few in and we noticed that as soon as they got to the warehouse, they sold right away, okay? And as you can see, uh, January 24th, um, uh, it was going up and down, up and down in price, okay? And then so what I decided to do is I went and did a sourcing trip. I went to tons of big lots and when I travel, I like to have a list of products that I'm looking for. I shared this in a, another video of one of the products that we were super excited about that didn't really pan out, but we shared this bolo and uh, man, some of you were saying you found 10 or 12 of them and made a bunch of money, so that's totally awesome. I will put a link in the description box below so you can check out that video. Um, but back to this, so we went and we sourced and we found this particular product and I ended up finding about 82 units of it going from store to store, okay? Uh, so I made a trip of it, visited a lot of big lots and sent them in. And as you can see, uh, our average selling price, we actually got a little bit higher a couple times as you can see up there. Uh, 
but our average selling price was $17.49 on this particular product. And you guys can see from the chart here, the rank stayed uh, pretty consistent, you know, going up and down, but not too bad. And then you can also see the, the uh, amount of offers and FBA sellers. It went up and then it kind of went back down as people started selling off. But here's what happened to us, okay? We were selling just fine, as you can see through the chart here, through February 1st, uh, all the way into March, okay? And what happened is, is we were we were finding a few more and we were sending them in. And then you can see what happened. And this happens to everybody and a lot of people freak out. But around March 8th, you can see the buy box price started to boop, 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 boop. These are what I call not smart sellers when they come in and drop the price. And I know that's frustrating for a lot of people to see low ballers come in. But hey, everyone runs their business differently. If you're making money, do what you got to do. Okay, but me, I like to make as much as I can. That's just the way I like to do it here. So as you can see, what happened? The buy box price started to go down. It started to hit about $14 uh, per unit. And that's $3.50 less than I was getting just a week earlier. Okay, so I waited it out. And... What happened is, is right around the first, we started to notice uh, it hit, we got a couple sales, and then dropped back off. People coming in and out of stock, things getting checked in, and then, uh, lo and behold, we held on just a little bit longer and waited out those low ball sellers, and then as you can see, the price came back, and we hit, and we sold all the rest of ours, okay? It's a very valuable lesson because so many people freak out when the low ball sellers come in, or when you get undercut, okay? And... A little tip for you guys, it's not a good practice to just undercut, 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 undercut because you're going to hurt yourself. If you can, hold on to the price just for a little bit and see what it does. I knew that this was a hard to find product because I visited about 10 big lots. So I knew that they weren't, uh, there weren't hundreds and hundreds of these things laying around. So I thought to myself and told myself from experience, again, that these things were hard to find and hey, p these people are going to sell out quick. Amazon isn't coming in on it, and I'm going to get the buy box back again, so I'll just hang tight. It took, um, let me see here, it was about March 24th in the middle, as you can see there, March 24th, it was just sitting at that $14 price, $14, and then as sellers started to drop off, it would go up and down, up and down, and then we finally got back to our $17.49 a unit and sold them all out. So, moral of the story, sometimes you just got to hang in there and wait out those low ball sellers. As frustrating as that is, and that sounds, sometimes that's what you have to do to make a few extra bucks, okay? So don't freak out. Now, I wanna show you guys, because I always like to show you guys that we actually sold the items that we bought. Uh, I wanna show you our inventory lab report. Okay, here we go. So we have the scrubbing bubbles, uh, 12 count, and as you can see, we had 82 orders, and that was all I found after visiting about 10 big lots. So again, I found you know, some, some places I found 15 and then some places I found zero. So overall, I got 82 uh, units and uh, you can see our revenue totaling $1,890 and our cost per unit, it was $3 for the item, but again, we added a little bit for tax and shipping, um, $330 per unit, profit $895 and the ROI percentage of 248%. Boom. I love it. And so, uh, real quick, that's just our inventory lab report. We're not making up numbers here. Um, I want to show you guys our hustle stats. I love to do this for our products because I think it's important for you guys to see exactly what we're doing and the time we're putting into finding each product. And I think that's super important. So here we go. Source time. I did an eight hour sourcing trip to hit 10 big lots. Now, uh, that was a lot. Most of that was driving in the stores. I was laser focused in and out. I don't, once I have a list of products that I'm hunting, I'm not sitting there scanning aisles upon aisles of stuff. I have a list, I'm targeted, so I like to spend less than 20 minutes in a store that I go to visit. But most of that, I drove uh, you know, two and a half hours one way and then two and a half hours back, so most of the time of that source time was driving for myself. And then a little bit of time in each store. Uh, total investment, and then, oh, sorry. We had one hour, so eight hour sourcing and then one hour to pack up all the materials. Uh, total investment, 82 units bought at $3 each. Total product investment was $246. And then our revenue, we had 82 singles sold at approximately $17.49 a piece for a total of approximately $1,890. Now I use the word approximately because we did sell some of the singles at 
uh, higher, like 20, we got $20 a couple times when we were the only ones in the buy box. So I didn't want to put all that information right there. So I put approximately, and then again, with the total uh, revenue, I didn't uh, add in a lot of the cents and stuff. So I just rounded 1,890. And then our profit is $895 after cost of goods and Amazon fees with an ROI return on investment was 248% and all the units sold within a three month time frame. And remember, I sat on the sidelines for about two and a half weeks waiting for the other lowball sellers to sell out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that in-depth look at the Scrubbing Bubbles product and us waiting out some lowball sellers and our journey in selling this over the last three months. Uh, again, if you find it, that's awesome. Just be cautious and do your homework. Check all your information to make sure that it's still profitable because um, sometimes when a lot of people see this, it could get crowded. So just be careful. Uh, just want to throw that in there. And again, I thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's a good time to do it. Don't forget about the back to school code in the beginning of the video and see you guys next time.